In this lesson, you will learn how to describe and draw intersecting, parallel, and perpendicular lines using ruler and set square. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe and draw intersecting, parallel, and perpendicular lines using ruler and set square. Points and lines are the basic figure used in geometry. A point is represented by a dot, which refers to an exact location. Lines are formed by a set of points that extends infinitely in two directions and defined by two distinct points in the line. Intersecting Parallel and perpendicular lines are formed by two or more lines in different settings. Hello learners! Before describing and drawing intersecting parallel and perpendicular lines, you must know the concept of points and lines. Everything we draw starts with a point. It is the most fundamental object in geometry. A point is named by a capital letter. You can read this as point P. Next to point is the line. It is a set of points that extends infinitely in both directions. It is named by two distinct points in the line. Given point P and point M, connecting it and extending in both sides will form line PM. Does not mean that point P and point M are the only points in the line. You can put some points in between P and M or Beyond. A line is also named by a small letter as shown in the figure below. Call it as line M. Para sa ating drill, get a pencil and ruler. Draw lines by connecting the given points. Copy the set of points needed in a separate space before you draw the lines. Do it in a sheet of paper. Example Line BG and line FC Number 1 Let us answer number 1. Line AF and line EB For number 2 line AF and line BG Para sa number 3 number 4 and number 5 ay kayo naman ang magsasagot Are you aware of the COVID-19 pandemic? For a long time without any travel, we might forget the road signs. Will you please recall the names of the following signages? Direction. Write the name of its signage in a sheet of paper. Number 1. That is pedestrian lane. Number 2, intersection. And number 3, no parking on both sides. What geometrical figures are similar to those signages? Are you thinking of lines, intersecting, parallel, and perpendicular lines? Congratulations! You are now ready to learn new lesson. 
intersecting parallel and perpendicular lines. Look at the figure below and try to describe the points in the line. The figure shows line AB and line BC meet at point B. These are called intersecting lines. Intersecting lines are lines that meet at a point. Line R intersects line T at point M. Two lines on the same plane will only meet once. Try to extend the two lines in the next figure. Do you think? Line M and line N intersect with each other if they extend in both directions? If your answer is no, you are correct. These lines are called parallel lines. Parallel lines are lines in the same plane that will never intersect. They have the same distance apart at all times. Distance from point A to point C must be the same with the distance from point B to point D. Compare the figure below with intersecting lines. Line LR intersect line RT at point R. As shown in the figure, the intersection form a square corner or a right angle. These lines are called perpendicular. Perpendicular lines are two lines that intersect and form a right angle. Given line D is parallel with line C. Line D is perpendicular with line E. We can say that line C is also perpendicular with line E because it has the same direction with line D. On the other hand, if two lines are both perpendicular on the same line, they are parallel lines. Using ruler and set square. After knowing the description of intersecting parallel and perpendicular lines, let us practice how to draw lines using ruler and set square. A ruler is used to measure length and draw straight lines. Set square is a triangular device with one angle of 90 degrees used for drawing straight lines and angles. Steps in drawing intersecting parallel and perpendicular lines. Intersecting lines. Step 1. Use any of the three devices to create the first line. Use a small letter to name the line. Step 2. Remove the device and create another line passing a point in the first line and put another small letter for the name of the second line. Line M intersects line P. Parallel lines. Step 1. Draw a broken line using the ruler and place one set square as shown in the figure to create the first line. Name the line using any small letter. Step 2. Move the set square sideward aligning the bottom part of the set square to the broken line to create the second line. Use another small letter to name it.
Line G is parallel with line H. Perpendicular lines. Step 1. Draw the first line using any of the device in any direction. Name the first line with any small letter. Step 2. Draw the second line as shown in the figure aligning the bottom part of the set square to create a square corner. Name the second line with another small letter. Step 3. Remove the set square and extend the line to complete the figure below. Line E is perpendicular with line F. Step 4. Draw a small square as shown in the figure as indicator of right angle. Directions. Do the following activities. Write your answer in a sheet of paper. Activity 1. Read the following questions. Write the letter of the correct answer in a sheet of paper. Number 1. Which of these lines pass a common point? A. Intersecting lines B. Parallel lines C. Line segment D. Perpendicular lines The answer is letter A. Number 2. Which of these lines Meet at a point and produce a square corner or right angle. A. Connecting lines B. Parallel lines C. Intersecting lines D. Perpendicular lines The answer is letter D. For number 3, 4, 5, kay naman ang magsasagot. Number 3. Which of these lines never meet or intersect in any point? A. Connecting lines B. Parallel lines C. Intersecting lines D. Perpendicular lines Number 4. Which of the following has the same distance apart at all times? A. Intersecting lines B. Parallel lines C. Line segment D. Perpendicular lines 5. Which of the following is not shown in the figure at the right? A. Line intersects parallel lines B. There are intersecting lines C. There are perpendicular lines D. Two lines are parallel Activity 2 Given the figure in the box Determine whether the lines are intersecting, parallel, or perpendicular. Write A for intersecting lines, B for parallel lines, and C for perpendicular lines. Number 1. Line SU and line UV is perpendicular lines. Number 2. Line UV and line TV is perpendicular lines. Then, ang number 3, 4 and 5, kay naman ang magsasagot. Activity 3. Draw the following lines in the box and identify the lines formed. Number 1. Line AB and line BC. Line AB and this is line BC. Intersecting lines. For number 2, line MN and line OP. Line MN, line OP. Parallel lines. This time, 
subukan yung sagutan ang number 3, 4, and 5. For number 3, line RS and line UV. Number 4, line QR and line ST. Number 5, line DE and line FG. Forming right angle. Good luck! What I have learned. Directions. Choose the correct word inside the box. Write your answer in a sheet of paper. Choices are intersecting, perpendicular, never meet, right angle, parallel, same. Can you describe intersecting, parallel, and perpendicular lines? Fill in the blank with the correct word. Two lines that meet at a point are called intersecting lines, while parallel lines are two or more lines that will never meet. This time, kayo naman na magtuloy, kayo naman na maglagay ng sagot. They have the blank distance apart at all times. Two lines with intersect and form a square corner or blank are called blank lines. What I can do? Directions. Draw or cut and paste pictures or objects in your house showing intersecting, parallel or perpendicular lines. Color or highlight the part of the object with intersecting, parallel, or perpendicular lines. What can you say about the object? Should you change the highlighted part? Marami salamat sa inyong panonood. Hanggang sa susunod, hanggang sa muli. Paalam, huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe, like, comment, and share.